Are you in search of high dividend yielding stocks to fortify your portfolio? The investment universe is indeed vast and complex, but one sector that repeatedly stands out for its exceptional dividends is the tobacco industry. This sector has demonstrated remarkable resilience, even amidst the harshest economic downturns. Today, we're going to delve into the financial specifics of three leading high-dividend tobacco companies, Altria, Philip Morris, and British American Tobacco. Firstly, Altria, with a noteworthy dividend yield of 9.1% and a consistent dividend payment for over 50 years, is a front-runner in high-dividend stocks. Next, Philip Morris, not only offers a compelling dividend yield of 9.0% but has also delivered an average earnings growth of 4.56% over the past five years. Lastly, British American Tobacco, with a dividend yield of 7.4% and 20 unbroken years of consistent dividend payments, completes the trio of these high dividend players. Each of these titans has a unique financial trajectory that has led to provide some of the most attractive dividends in the market. From the home of Marlboro in the U.S. to the international smoke-filled landscape, these companies have built their robust financial profiles and continue to reward their shareholders significantly. Let's delve deeper into the world of high-yield dividends with these three impressive tobacco companies. Welcome to Beat the Market, I'm Wes, and today we'll dive into the world of the tobacco giants, their dividends, and why they are a good addition in everyone's dividend portfolio. If you appreciate insights like this, please hit the like button and subscribe for more of our content. First off, we have Altria, the titan behind the Marlboro brand in the US. This consumer staples heavyweight extends beyond simply cigarettes, with its fingers in numerous pies, owning stakes in Anheuser-Busch InBev, the globally recognized brewing company, Juul, the well-received e-cigarette brand, and Kronos Group, a noted cannabinoid company. Altria's robust business model has the traits of a fortress, demonstrating resilience amidst economic downturns. It reported stable earnings growth during the Great Recession, with an impressive increase in its earnings per share during the 2020 recession. Even in the first quarter of this year, Altria's adjusted diluted earnings per share notched a significant increase by 5.4% compared to last year, showing its steadiness. However, what truly sets Altria apart is its competitive edge, it thrives in a highly regulated industry crafting barriers to entry that thwart potential competitors. Its emblematic brands like Marlboro give it a considerable pricing power, and its cost-efficient manufacturing and distribution processes lend a considerable advantage. On the dividend front, Altria boasts a commendable dividend growth streak of over 52 years. Its current yield is a remarkable 9.1% a figure that far surpasses the average for companies in the S&P 500, thus making it a favorite among income-inclined investors. Interestingly, in spite of a minor decline in net revenues by 2.9%, the company confidently reaffirmed its full-year guidance range for adjusted diluted earnings per share for 2023. This is suggestive of the company's positive outlook regarding its future performance. In conclusion, Altria's steadfastness in economic downturns, its potent competitive advantages, a dividend yield that outshines many, and a dividend growth streak of over half a century, establish it as a lucrative option for investors. Altria isn't merely a cigarette-selling company, it's a sturdy investment vehicle with the promise of delivering consistent returns over the long haul. Next, let's dive deeper into Philip Morris International, a heavyweight in the global tobacco industry. This tobacco giant operates across various continents, deftly navigating the intricate web of international markets. The name behind the iconic Marlboro brand, Philip Morris occupies a dominant spot in the reduced-risk product market with its cutting-edge IQOS system. In the first quarter of 2023, they reported a hefty net revenue of $8 billion, registering a 3.5% increase from the previous year. Despite a marginal decrease in shipment volume, Heated tobacco products saw a significant surge by 10.1%, attesting to the company's successful venture into reduced-risk products. But it's important to remember that Philip Morris, like many global corporations, is not entirely shielded from international geopolitical events. The escalating conflict between Ukraine and Russia has had repercussions for the company, leading to the formulation of an orderly withdrawal plan from Russia. Yet, even in the face of these obstacles, Philip Morris exudes confidence. For fiscal year 2023, they have provided earnings per share and adjusted earnings per share guidance which shows optimism. 
Philip Morris's edge lies in its prestigious brand portfolio, and the cost benefits it from its massive scale. The Marlboro brand is practically synonymous with the tobacco industry, fortifying the company's position in global markets. In addition, the company's dividend has remained steady, a fact that should grab the attention of dividend-seeking investors. In the last five years, their dividend yield has ranged between 4-6%, indicating a reliable return on investment. Even more impressively, they have a history of consistent dividends for over three decades, a commitment that underscores their strong financial footing. Philip Morris's competitive market position, consistent dividend income, and the prospects for capital appreciation render it a worthwhile consideration for any diversified investment portfolio. Despite geopolitical uncertainties, their diverse operations and robust dividend coverage bode well for a promising investment future. Let's delve into one of the world's largest tobacco companies, British American Tobacco. An undeniable giant in the industry, British American Tobacco takes pride in its far-reaching brand portfolio, with brands such as Dunhill and Lucky Strike under its name. This wide array of brands has allowed the company to solidify its market position and further its growth. One pivotal milestone was the acquisition of Reynolds American Tobacco in 2017, a strategic decision that expanded the brand portfolio and led to cost savings after integrating Reynolds American. This successful integration has helped British American Tobacco streamline operations and cut costs, bolstering the company's financial health. Now, let's delve into the figures. In the non-combustible segment, British American Tobacco has been making waves. Their volume share in the combustible market increased in the first half of the year, along with growing sales of non-combustible products. The company projects to meet its sales target for non-combustible goods by 2025. Financially speaking, they're guiding towards a revenue growth of 3 to 5% in organic terms for the current year. More specifically, earnings per share are expected to hover around the mark of $4.25. This robust financial performance underscores the strength of the company's business model and strategic management. For investors, here are the key facts. The company's dividend payout ratio consistently falls within 55 to 75%. This means a large chunk of the company's profits finds its way back to shareholders and dividends, presenting an enticing option for income-seeking investors. As of 2023, the company's dividend yield stood at an impressive 9.0%. Moreover, British American Tobacco has a strong track record of paying dividends consistently for over 20 years. This steadiness is reassuring for investors, making British American Tobacco an attractive investment opportunity. With its cost savings, organic growth, and consistent dividend payment history, British American Tobacco provides a high yield and a secure dividend for those looking to invest. Now that we've delved deeply into the realm of high-dividend tobacco stocks, what are the key points to consider? We've navigated the intricate world of tobacco stocks, with our main attention on Altria, Philip Morris International, and British American Tobacco. Each of firms has proven their robustness and adaptability in a dynamic market. Altria, equipped with its powerful brands and recession-proof business approach, has shown a consistent earnings growth of around 6.9% over the past five years. Despite economic downturns, its dividend yield stands at an impressive 9.1%. Philip Morris International, regardless of geographical hurdles, continues to stand as a global juggernaut with reduced-risk products. Their earnings have grown by 5.3% over the last five years, and they offer a reliable dividend yield of 5.4%. British American Tobacco meanwhile is capitalizing on both combustible and non-combustible sectors, targeting organic revenue growth. Their earnings growth over the last five years is approximately 4.2%, with a dividend yield of 9.0%. The fortitude of these companies lies not just in their remarkable dividends, they've managed to maintain and even increment over the past decade, but also in their ability to steer through market volatility and adjust to fresh consumer preferences. These are promising signs for any income investor. Nevertheless, as with any investment, a balanced and diversified approach is crucial. These stocks could solidify an already varied portfolio, offering a potential avenue for steady income. Whether you're an experienced investor or a beginner, these three tobacco companies, with their high dividends and growth potential, backed by historical data, present a strong case for consideration in your portfolio. Thank you so much for watching my video. If this was helpful and you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to like subscribe and let me know which stock you would like to be featured in my next video.